really appreciate what what the the players did and coaches did to all through the week and, and give us a chance today and, and went out and I love the way the guys competed and played together and found a way to to get a victory and, and I thought there were some really good things that we did you know I thought that we were fairly consistent running the football and uh, defensively you know I know they had the the drive at the end of the first half but I thought we did a lot of really good things defensively against we thought was a, a really good Northwestern team and I thought the the special teams you know um, the kickoffs you know it was good by PJ and the one we covered Pat Johnson made a heck of a play I thought Anthony Lottie did a nice job in, in flipping the field and, and takes everyone to win and uh, appreciate their efforts and obviously there's some things that well, areas we can improve, you know, we got to do a better job and it starts with me, you know, how we finished the game, didn't like the way we, we closed it out there. Um, but you know what, our kids, uh, it's hard, hard to win and uh, really thankful for what they did and loved seeing how they play together, even when there's adversity, even when things are, are going a little bit not your way. And uh, it's a good group to be with and uh, we just got to, Enjoy it tonight. You know, like I said, being a, we thought it was a very good Northwestern team. Uh, enjoy that, and then tomorrow push the reset button and, and go forward. What was the key to holding that offense to seven points? You know, I, I thought that we did a really good job, Tom, of, of stopping the run. That's a good running back, and, he, and he's had production. So I thought we were able to do a nice job versus the run. And then I think, you know, enough changes in, in the coverages and – and what they're doing, they hit, they hit some plays. They got, you know, we thought the quarterback and the receiver were good players. But then I thought at the end we started getting some pressure. It was a huge play on the uh, sack fumble. That was a, a big play. But I thought, you know, Justin, our defense staff, did a really nice job of giving the kids a plan that they felt comfortable with and and uh, could execute. And But I thought really doing a nice job on the run. And then it felt different once we were able to start getting some pressure on them. And, and I think, too, that... You know, in a couple of those drives, you know, they were backed up on the one. It was in the third quarter, backed them up. You know, that was a nice job by Anthony and the, and the punt team and, and had another one in the second half. But I thought they played good defense, you know, and, and uh, there's a couple times we didn't tackle. We let the, the one uh, when they ran the, the under shallow cross, you know, we kind of misplayed that one. But they, they had their chunks and they made some plays we thought they would, but I think guys just kept playing. I think it does, Jace. I think it, you know, it was good to have it, and and um, and I think not only that today, but you know, playing together now, it should be helpful. And I thought that they did a good job, tight ends, you know, fullback, and and I thought the backs ran hard, and and it was a good, um, good overall effort on it. And and I do think that if you can have continuity, that helps in your consistency. Now each team changes and you, you see different things so it's not a guarantee but I think it's been good. What would you like to add again? You were able to, to pass and obviously the run play and also special teams as well had a big pump. No, Jazz did. Jazz came up and, and uh, had some opportunities and, and took advantage of it. And like you said, the you know certainly the, the touchdown run on the on the reverse and that was uh, a lot of guys made that work and and he had the, the punt return that set up I think we only got a field goal out of it but we had a, a pretty good return on that and and, and made some big plays, the big third down when Bart was in there in the seam. Um, he, he was good. And Jay's, Jazz is capable of that, you know, and, and we just need to keep maximizing uh, opportunities. And I thought for the most part he did that. Other than keep working at it, what, what more can you do with, with your red zone offense? Well, I mean, we got to – the end result is we got to be more productive. We're putting a lot of stress on the team. And uh, – and yet I thought that, you know, guys are, you know, we just got to keep keep working at it. You know, we kind of come out of the one with, with Jazz and Alex and, and uh, you know, can we come out of it a little bit different? I thought it was a big play by Bart on the one drive and uh, that was good. And it, it Touchdowns make a difference, you know, so we just got to keep working. I guess to answer your question, keep working at it, right? I mean, um, and we got to, you know, keep working at his coaches, give them the best plan possible and, and players on the execution of it because that's, uh, that's an area where we can get better and we need to if we're going to be the best we can be.
That was big, you, you're right. Yeah, I mean, it was a saw Vince coming up and under on it, and, and he kept working through it. A lot of times, that's when the call gets made is, is when you you work through it and, and put them in a position where they have to call it. And, and uh, Vince will always, you know that, Vince is always going to give that effort. And I think we've got a lot of guys putting out the effort. And uh, that you're very thankful for. You know, you don't want to take that for granted as a coach. What has this defense meant to this team this year? This defense has, has meant a ton to this team. And, and I think, obviously, I think they've been giving us chances to win when we're not putting up a lot of points. And, and I think that they also have a uh, energy about them and uh, a confidence that, that permeates through the whole team. And so I think that they, you know, it takes a team to win. And that I think our guys know that. And I think everyone, whether it's offense, defense, special teams know that. But, but certainly our defense gives us a chance when maybe we're not as clean or as productive as you'd like to be. On offense. Paul, you mentioned the, uh, the big fumble play. What is Connor Sheehy doing for you right now? Connor's doing a ton, and uh, you know, I think all, th you know, our defensive line in general, it's a it's a big part. Of it. You know, when we were asked earlier, what maybe one of the keys for our defense was the ability to to minimize their run game, and uh, and that starts with those guys up front, and then you know, Connor was able to get in on the play. Uh, I think it was him and Duels maybe on the on the fumble, but Connor is uh, he comes to he comes to play every day, you know, game day, practice, and and I think that that group of D linemen, you know, led by Connor and Chikwe and Alec, uh, they know they're really important to this defense. Their numbers might not be uh, huge numbers, but they know their importance, and yet they'll keep working, and and they're not going to just cancel themselves out and say, you know, I'm not going to be a production guy, but the way they approach it, I think they're they're a foundational piece of our defense and really part of our team. I think. Talk about the importance of uh, carrying some frustration, disappointment into the locker room at halftime, but yet holding your own where you needed to in the third quarter because the end of the first half didn't go how we would want it. No, it didn't go how anybody would have wanted. But that's the game, and uh, and how you handle the uh, the swings of momentum, I think, is is important and. You know, you love seeing guys. The competitive part of it doesn't want it to happen, but you, they they identify what it was, and you know the things that we can control, um, address them, and that happens also not just at halftime. You know, you, you do that on the on the sideline, and, and that's where I thought the coaches have done a really nice job of of not uh, losing their mind, just identifying the things that we can work on and, and control, adjust to. And the kids, I think they do have confidence. So it happened, but it didn't shake them by any means. At the end of the game, you were thinking you could run out the entire clock. We, we were just above it. Um, and so we thought if we could get some time, then what really set us back, and where I got to do a better job of adjusting, once it went from a 40 second to a 25, then now you, there's your time difference. And, and I didn't do a good job of, of changing. That was the initial thought, not designed to quite lose so much yards, because that changed the field. You know, all of a sudden you're punting. I mean, it was not, um, it was, that was bad on my part. When you go through a whole game like this, and just one penalty, that's pretty clean football. It was pretty clean football. And, and, um, and that you appreciate from the kids and the coaches. And, and, and then we're going to be in close games. And, and turnovers, takeaways are a big part of it. And, and those hidden yards, field position, which penalties can be a big part of. That that was uh, it was good. Yeah, I screwed that up. I mean, I should call it right then. Yeah, it's nothing as far as uh, doing something more to it. it it's a tolerance and. Uh, and, and that's what, you know, and he, he wanted to go back. You saw him at the end of the game, you know, back in it. But that's what it is. Obviously, Andrew missed the first pick that he had. Did he get things executed? Did you like how he bounced back? Yeah, I did. He always do. You know, that uh, what happened to him 
last week is is not easy for a kid. And uh, and yet I thought did a nice job of coming back during the week. And uh, you know we were just talking about it earlier with us not being as explosive as we want to be. And and anytime you can get points, it's it's huge. And and so. Um, you're thankful for the a kid just being able to kind of stay the course and and uh, and he did he missed it early but knew he's going to have opportunity or, or you, you think you're going to have opportunities and and he kept his head and focused and good support around him and and all those points are big. Did you take one more from coach. Is there a thought to go somewhere else after that first game? No.